What's going on, guys? It's Jimmy here. Welcome to our daily show where we discuss everything going on here in our country that you need to know about on a daily basis, including money, investing, the stock market, the fourth stimulus package update, and stimulus check update. If you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel yet, make sure to click the subscribe button down below. It's completely free to do so. And remember that new videos come out here every day at 10 a.m., 3 p.m., and 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I will keep you up to date here with everything you need to know about on a daily basis. And also, thanks for hitting the like button for us down below. Uh, President Biden announces more support for Ukraine. I'll let you hear it directly from him. Also, uh, Republican leaders, I'll let you know what they think about this. And uh, we'll have a, a pretty decent stimulus check update for you guys in this video as well. Uh, there's a lot going on here in our country, so let's jump right in. President Biden in New Hampshire and visiting multiple different states here uh, calls on Congress to pass measures to fight inflation, to lower in costs, and to gain support here in, um, in the United States here as inflation is running rampant. And yesterday, the Dow Jones dropped almost 1,000 points. Yeah, you can see here for its worst day since 2020, as fears of inflation, the Fed is going to raise interest rates more than expected uh, coming up here with their next interest rate hike. And a lot of people think recession is on uh, the horizon or even already here. A lot of people saying we're already in a recession. We're already in a recession. And um, the stock market is at a, actually at a 52-week low. We're actually at a one-year low uh, for a lot of different indexes. And um, President Biden says Congress needs to pass a new package to help American people fight inflation. Uh, yeah, you can see directly here, President Biden traveled to New England and a couple other states to underscore the importance of repairing infrastructure and unclogging supply chains for some relief against inflation, which is currently at a 40-year high uh, based on uh, March's inflation and could be going even higher. In remarks from New Hampshire, Biden addressed rising inflation which he says was caused primarily from the pandemic and uh, the war in Ukraine. Now, Republicans uh, like to argue that point, but uh, this is what the president said. Uh, he says, quote, the war in Ukraine is going to continue to take its toll on the world economy. He said, quote, it's going to take its toll on energy gas, and oil. It's going to take its toll relative to food. Remember that food is currently at a all-time high globally, uh, not just here in the U.S. It is in the U.S. here as well, but worldwide, worldwide, the United Nations has said food prices are at the highest they have ever been. Yeah, so it's, it's affecting the U.S. and the entire world here as well. Yeah, Biden used this speech to call on Democrats to pass measures to increase domestic semiconductor manufacturing, resurface elements on his signature Build Back Better plan to lower health care and similar costs for families. He says, quote, beyond gas prices, I've called on Congress to move immediately on lowering families' utility bills, prescription drug bills, and more, while lowering the deficit and reducing inflation without raising a single penny on taxes, he said. I assume that he means uh, without raising a single penny on taxes for people making under $400,000. Uh, that's what I assume he means. The president visited Portsmouth Harbor, which recently completed a project to widen the harbor's turning basin and will receive money from the bipartisan infrastructure law for the widening project. That was passed here recently, uh, a few months ago, from both the Democrats and the Republicans, the widest infrastructure package 
uh, I believe, ever. That will allow the harbor to accommodate larger ships and heavier cargo shipments and improve the regional economy. Biden said the improvements will help save $90,000 per day, and it can cost it can cost for an unloaded ship to wait until tides high enough can pass through. Wow, that's a lot of money. He says, quote, it has been a problem for decades, but with an $18 million investment from the Army Corps of Engineers and with help from the U.S. reps Maggie Hassan and Chris Papas, we widened that base into 1,200 feet and got it done. He noted that the port supports 2,300 jobs and provides $275 million to the regional economy. White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki said that the infrastructure law dedicates close to $20 billion to upgrade, repair, and maintain port infrastructure nationwide. It's also estimated driving on these roads uh, will repair roads nationwide as well. And President Biden also said that they're committing more money and supplies to help stop the Putin regime and war going on here. Uh, Putin is still bombing um, civilians and troops in Mariupol and uh, seems to be no signs of letting go or stopping at any point. Uh, this continues to keep gas prices elevated, food prices elevated across the world. Remember, Ukraine and Russia are uh, large producers of uh, major food items uh, from that region, as high as 30% for the entire world for some items. And of course, we know the price of gas here as well. Here's what the president had to say, and I'll give you some insight here after this. Today... I'm announcing another $800 million to further augment Ukraine's ability to fight in the east in the Donbass region. This package includes heavy artillery weapons, dozens of howitzers, and 144,000 rounds of ammunition to go with those howitzers. It also includes more tactical drones. In the past two months, we've moved weapons and equipment to Ukraine at record speed. We've sent thousands of anti-armor and anti-missile helicopters, drones, grenade launchers, machine guns, rifles, radar systems, more than 50 million rounds of ammunition at our been The United States alone has provided 10 anti-armor systems for every one Russian tank that's in Ukraine, a 10 to 1 ratio. With this latest disbursement, I've almost exhausted the drawdown authority I have that Congress authorized for Ukraine in a bipartisan spending bill last month. In order to sustain Ukraine for the duration of this fight, next week I'm going to have to be sending to Congress a supplemental budget request to keep weapons and ammunition flowing without interruption to the brave Ukrainian fighters and continue to deliver economic assistance to the Ukrainian people. Today, the United States is announcing that we intend to provide an additional $500 million in direct economic assistance to the Ukrainian government. This brings our total economic support for Ukraine to $1 billion in the past two months. This is money the government can help use to stabilize their economy, to support communities that have been devastated by the Russian onslaught, and pay the brave workers that continue to provide essential services to the people of Ukraine. Yeah, so let me know your thoughts there in the comments. And I'm going to get a few comments, I always do, of people that say, uh, you know, we, we need to take care of our people here at home first. And and I totally get it. Um, listen, you know me. I, I If you've been watching me for a while, I always say we need to take care of our people here. We need to send out stimulus. We need to uh, do that and you know me, I've said that a thousand times here as well. And I urge you call your, uh, you know, elected officials, state representatives, uh, congressmen, senators, president, write them, email them, call them. I'm here advocating for you as well. But this also needs to be done here as well. Because one, it's adding to inflation, gas prices, food prices, and everything. And two, um, the amount of support and money they're giving them in the scheme of things is very minuscule. And let me put this into perspective here. You heard the president there say, 
that they have sent $1 billion in the last two months. Uh, for example, if they sent that out to the American people, uh, that would be like sending each American person $3. $3, okay? We have 330 million people. So if they sent out a billion dollars and spread it out to all the American people here, it would be $3. So it, it really just wouldn't go far. Remember that the last $1,400 stimulus check they sent out um, – was $400 billion, okay? They sent to Ukraine, you heard him say, $1 billion, with a B. The last stimulus check cost $400 billion, okay? Uh, just to kind of give you guys an idea of the amount of money that they're supporting Ukraine with, $1 billion in the last two months. $400 billion is what they sent out in stimulus checks uh, just for the last round. And remember, I just did a video here just like yesterday. I'll link you to it here at the end of this video. There's still $15 billion available in stimulus money right now for rent assistance, mortgage assistance. Actually, just in rent assistance alone, there's probably close to $10 billion uh, in homeowners assistance. There was $9.9 .9 billion in additional homeowners assistance so I don't know, there's probably anywhere between five and nine billion dollars additional money for homeowners. And then there's utility assistance as well. So really, if you kind of add all that up, there could be, I don't know, 20 some billion dollars in money just between rent assistance, homeowners assistance and utility assistance available as well. So when you look at the amount of money that they're sending to Ukraine, it's it's really small compared to everything else. And you can see the headline here. There's $15 billion available in rent assistance available right now. And I have videos showing you how to claim this. And I'll link you to a video here at the end of this video. But the, the war needs to be stopped because one, there's a chance of World War III. And if that starts, trust me, it's going to be a lot worse for all of us, including us here in the U.S. And remember, Russia has nukes. We don't want to be in a nuclear war. So uh, having this war end is, is a good thing. And remember, all these other countries, including Europe and, and really even Sweden and Switzerland, are supporting Ukraine as well. So it's not like we're the only country doing this. Uh, but we don't want to be involved in World War III. So trust me, we, we want this war to end as soon as possible. It's also raising gas prices, raising food, food prices, and raising inflation overall. So the quicker this war ends, the better for all of us. And remember, you actually heard President Biden say this money was uh, authorized by Congress. Republicans and Democrats voted for this. You can actually see some headlines here. Mitch McConnell says it's his job to lead the GOP, which is a nickname for the Republicans, the grand old party against the Russia-Ukraine invasion. Uh, you can see another uh, headline here from uh, CBS. Mitch McConnell says the vast majority of Republicans are totally behind uh, Ukraine. In fact, um, there's very, very few Republicans that even voted no. I mean, there's literally only people like Marjorie Taylor Greene in the House and uh, Matt Gates and stuff like that. There's very few radical Republicans that voted no. Um, the vast majority of Republicans voted yes to support Ukraine. In fact, it's it's like 90 some percent of Democrats and Republicans are, are voting yes to support it because they know that uh, if we don't, the U.S. could be pulled into war. So it, it's it's a really big thing here. And really, I don't think any of us want World War III or inflation or high gas prices or high food prices. And Putin has to be stopped at some point. Or else he's just this is going to continue on forever or for a long time. And who knows what country's next? He's just threatened Sw uh, Sweden, Finland and Moldova, and he's got all these nukes, really he's kind of threatened us as well. Uh, yeah. yeah. I mean, you can let me know your thoughts here in the comments, but uh, I don't know. It's just uh, it's a never-ending nightmare. Also, let's hope that this inflation package that President Biden is talking about would have some inflation relief checks here for Americans. Uh, remember that all these states that are passion, passing inflation relief checks, I mean, 
God, I don't even know how many of them now. We must have like 12 different states that have been passing inflation relief checks at this point. Um, really, there's a couple big ones here. Uh, the largest one to pass right now seems to be, I think the state of Maine, which is $850 per person or $1,700 per couple. The state of New Mexico has $500 per person. These, this is passed. Um, the state of New Mexico is passed here as well. You can see here New Mexico House Bill 2 passed with lawmakers giving $500 to individual taxpayers and $1,000 to married couples. Um, I think you have to file tax returns. So if you don't normally file tax returns, uh, you might want to go ahead and file one. Um, remember, you can you can file a tax return in your states, even if you don't normally file. One. Same thing with the child tax credits. Uh, you need to do that on the federal level to get that extra fifteen to eighteen hundred dollars one. The state of Maine um, just launched a new website here. Um, I'm going to try to just cover as many uh, states as I can. I haven't really seen a lot of new information on new states here recently. Uh, remember, Illinois just passed their uh, state package here recently. I covered that in a in a recent video here as well. Um, but Maine covered uh, or just launched a new website here. I'll put a link down below in the description of this video. Uh, hopefully I don't forget. But Maine has a um, new website they launched here to help people of the state of Maine, you can see it's right here from the governor of Maine, to help people claim these checks. $850 relief checks are being sent out to an estimated 858,000 Maine people. Um, married couples will get two of these, so $1,700. There's also property tax checks in here, I believe, as well. It says, if I don't normally file taxes, or I haven't filed yet, can I still claim them? Yes. You have until October 31st to claim them. Um, Maine taxpayers can visit cashmaine.org, the website, or call the phone number 211. But you're going to need to file a tax return. Okay, so just go ahead and file one so that Maine knows how much money you made. Um, it is from what I understand. Uh, but get, you know, get some type of tax advice um, from somebody who knows your information or, or knows your, your situation. We also have the state of Virginia here. Virginia lawmakers divided over who would actually benefit from a gas tax holiday as Virginia is deciding what to do here as well. A lot of states uh, considering this here, what to do here with the... <laughs> Uh, their state money here. Check this out. The Virginia House of Delegates Finance Committee approved a bill that would suspend the 26 cents per gallon gasoline tax from May 1st to July 31st. So May, June, July, that would be three months. But it's not fully passed. Um, this just passed here uh, in the House of Delegates. Okay. If a gas tax holiday is passed fully, the hope is that the savings to distributors will filter down to station owners and then consumers when they fill up. That has happened in other states, though. They have been pretty uh, good there uh, with doing that. Governor Glenn Youngkins and Republicans, like Delegate Wendell Walker, says this will provide Virginians with the help they have been asking for. Stimulus checks are better, but different states are doing it different ways. Quote, what better time can you give relief than a time of inflation when there is a lot of suffering and expenses that parents need help with? Any tax relief is a relief for the consumer. Uh, but Democrats argue there is no way to be sure that businesses pass the savings along to the consumer. But we have seen that other states have, have done that pretty, pretty good. Pretty, I mean, it, it's happened, so um, I wouldn't worry about that. Instead, Democrats propose sending $50 rebate checks to every car owner or up to $100 per household. 
Um, and that's what Democrats are proposing for the state of Virginia. Democrats also argue that Republicans would benefit out-of-state drivers and the oil industry more than Virginians. Yeah, so let me know your thoughts here in the comments. I will keep you up to date here with as many states, uh, stimulus checks, gas tax relief, um, property tax, uh, anything I can here that you need to know about on a daily basis. Uh, I'll link you to some important videos here that if you haven't seen, you need to check out here next. Um, new videos come out here every day at 10 a.m., 3 p.m., and 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Make sure to subscribe down below. It's completely free to do so. Um, you can click this top video here to watch my newest video about state stimulus checks and federal stimulus checks that are coming out here soon. This bottom video is how to claim utility assistance that is available now. This top video over here is how to claim rent assistance. You can get your rent paid for up to 12 months from the last stimulus package. And this video over here is how to claim homeowners assistance, get up to $80,000 for homeowners. So click on one of those videos next. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video.